Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing uh, the first book in the Robert Jordan uh, Conan books, Conan the Invincible, uh, which I have in this beautiful condition uh, hardcover that I was able to get. Um, the first thing I want to note is just, I actually do really like the cover art. Uh, and the back of it definitely reminds me a little bit of kind of like Wheel of Time art. So really enjoyable. But for those of you who don't know, because I was actually just talking about this in the Discord and someone's like, did you mean Robert Jordan? Yes, Robert Jordan, author of The Wheel of Time, wrote a total of uh, like six or seven uh, Conan novels. One of them was the novelization, novelization of one of the Conan movies. Uh, but he actually wrote these before Wheel of Time. Uh, this was the first thing he actually did with Tor. Uh, it was originally because he had written the, oh, I can't get it out, it's right on the edge there. Uh, he had written Warrior of All Time uh, and was approaching publishers, and so um, eventually, basically, Harriet, uh, before they were married, ended up suggesting him to write Conan books because she had read his Warrior of All Time, which is kind of like a barbarian-type story, and so he decided to write these, and uh, I had been meaning to try them out. Now, I do have to say, I have not read the original uh, Conan books. I do want to at some point, because uh, I've heard a lot of good things about them, even though there are some definitely dated items and some problematic items that are in them, uh, with them being as old as they are. But I've, I've just heard that they are uh, really, really good for sword and sorcery type things. But uh, Hemvar, whose channel I will link down below, uh, Liam's Lyceum, uh, he had asked if I wanted to read this one because he was going to read it, and I I was very easily talked into it because I, I wanted to read these for a long time just because it's Robert Jordan, and so I decided to jump in. So the first thing I do want to say uh, is I have heard that these are not as good as the original. I, I really enjoyed the first book, and as far as it being Robert Jordan, it definitely does have a Robert Jordan feel, although the prose is a bit more flowery. He referred to it, I think, as purple prose. I wouldn't go that far necessarily, uh, but it's definitely very flowery with the prose, which I imagine is what the originals are like uh, as well, and that's why he was going for that route. But So it, it, it is it, pretty flowery prose, uh, but very action-packed, and just uh, it was, it was a, a pretty fun story. Now, the Conan stories as well are, from what I've heard too um, with the originals, quite tropey, and that's just kind of what they are. It's, you know, pulpy, fantasy, sword and sorcery type thing. So you definitely get a lot of the feel. This is definitely, Conan the Invincible, the first one, is one I could I could most certainly see having been written many, many years ago. Now these came out originally in the 80s. I don't specifically know when. Uh, da, 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 da. 1982, the first one it looks like. And then this particular copy, this came out in 1995. Uh, they repackaged probably to uh, capitalize on the popularity of the Wheel of Time because you've written that. Um, but uh, these were, yeah, came out in the 80s. And it definitely it feels like it could have been written quite a long time ago just because of the style. So that's where I thought he did the style really, really well. It feels like really old school sword and sorcery. Although um, with hopefully less less problems. Uh, we do follow Conan in this one, who is still a, a teenage Conan, and he ends up getting hired to steal some pendants, uh, but then things go wrong when those pendants are stolen uh, from the palace where he was trying to steal them, along with several slave girls, and he gets involved with a whole big thing to try to save them. Uh, also, we have uh, some plots going on where the uh, King is setting out uh, his guards or, and soldiers basically to try and uh, track down the Red Hawk, who is an infamous bandit, and her and her band of uh, bandits basically have been plaguing the, the area and like taking caravans and are just like really, really well known. And they're kind of blamed for it, uh, for stealing the pendants. And so all that kind of uh, intertwines it goes in from there. So you get a lot of the, the pulpy action, the talk about Conan's muscles and doing like strongman things. And so, like I said, even not having read the original Conan stories, this just feels that very much a sword and sorcery in, in what I think of when I read Conan. When I was reading this, I'm like, this absolutely feels like a Conan story. Granted, I don't have the expertise to say that. Uh, like I said, I know people tend to like these less when they read the originals. 
because uh, it's not going to be quite the same, but you know, this we get with a different uh, author doing it. But I thought uh, it was it was written very well. You definitely have some tropes going on with uh, how a lot of things are happening. You get kind of that uh, like just happenstance, like all the plans fall apart because of one little detail type things or like little clues pointing. Uh, you've got like the big bad necromancer uh, who's involved as well. And so you, you just really, really do get the, the sword and sorcery feel. We've got the barbarians, we've got the soldiers, we've got the bandits, we have some like uh, savage hillmen and all kinds of stuff going on. And we have some like lizard people, which are pretty nifty as well too. Uh, and all of this, like I said, I'm not, I'm not talking any spoilers, just kind of talking about what we have going on in here, but uh, gives a really nice cast and, and shows a lot. It does reference several things that he has done. And so I wonder uh, if the things that he references are actually from the original stories. That actually made me even more curious uh, to read the original Conan stories to be to see. And some of the comments made about like uh, somebody like predicting that he'll be a great important person. I think also referencing to potentially other things that Jordan wrote. Uh, but also to potentially uh, classic Conan stories as well. I don't know for sure if this is supposed to be taking place like at the same time, like if these are just other things that the same Conan or if this was done as kind of a reboot. Uh, to be honest, I'm really not sure uh, how that worked, but it, it feels like you're, he's including uh, some other things, other pieces uh, of the old Conan as well. So you do get, I will say, um, the, the the main female character, the Red Hawk, is like a very, very strong uh, woman, but also definitely has some behaviors that seem more like it's from, you know, the old pulpy uh, sword and sorcery type thing. There are a couple of questionable moments uh, that involve women, for sure, uh, and just kind of the treatment. It's not uh, done really terribly, and a lot of it's kind of more behind the veil, which has always uh, been more of... Robert Jordan, he's never usually one who's very explicit with any content like that. So you get kind of the behind the veil. The ending, though, of this book with what it did, it was like funny, but it was also kind of terrible. And it just definitely felt very classic sword and sorcery. I definitely feel like this is probably not something that would be necessarily written the same way today. Uh, you get a lot of terrible people characters. Conan's still a good guy, though. Uh, he's just, he's a bit rough around the edges. So I, I will say there, there are some questionable things. Uh, the way it's done, I think, is, is very intentionally towing the line between being true to what the character, uh, how the character was originally written, uh, which I, I have heard in the original. Uh, there are definitely some, you know, like some womanizing, some things like that going on. And so I, th I think it's being true to the character while towing the line to make it a little bit more acceptable. So I don't think this book really ever went too far, um, but it, it just definitely kind of had some of that, the pulp that you would expect uh, from this type of book. Now, granted, even this uh, book, these stories over 30 years old, or, well, I said 82, so around 30 years old. We'll say, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I forgot what year it was. For a minute, these are really old, and I'm old, and I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, so so even the the Robert Jordan Conan books are quite old, uh, and the originals are much much older. And so there's you're gonna get some of that feel, and I, I think he was trying to stay pretty tr true to it. So there's definitely some things I feel like would not be written the way that they are now. Uh, but it was it was really interesting to go through. So this was my first Conan, uh, and my first kind of full-on sword and sorcery. I've dabbled in that, and it's an area that Hembar, uh, his name in the Discord, or Liam's Lyceum, has got me a lot interested in, uh, as well as Owen E. And Owen E actually did a really good review for the the whole uh, Conan books, the original by Robert E. Howard, um, which I'll link both of their channels down below. Uh, whenever I talk about sword and sorcery, that's just the, the, those are the people that I think of. So uh, Liam has been around the Discord basically since it existed, too. So he's talked a lot about uh, some of those, like Dungeons and Dragons books, reads a lot of stuff like that. And so, um, like I said, he's the one who talked me into uh, reading this. I did originally get the second book, The Further Chronicles, but it never came. I uh, did a whole thing, so I'll have to try and track down a copy. I do plan on finishing uh, the other two here. Like I said, I'd like to read the Robert Jordan ones first, and then probably go back and read the originals and, and, and do some comparison there uh, and, and go that route. 
But my plan is since people say that these aren't as good after, I'll do these first and then maybe I'll just be like, oh my gosh, these are even better. So I'm turning it into a positive. But honestly, like I said, I think this is really well written. It was also just really nice to uh, read something that was Robert Jordan. Like I said, this it, the prose does not read the same as The Wheel of Time. It's a different style and it's more flowery. But it's just, there were just points from like, ah, it's Robert Jordan. I, I, I really do enjoy his prose and I think he's a great writer. So uh, that's why I was pretty excited to read this book. So those are really my thoughts on Conan the Invincible. It was not a, a super long story, so I don't have a ton uh, more to say with it, really. Like I said, it was uh, definitely had some of the tropes going on. It had some uh, pretty predictable things, some other things going slightly different ways, but this isn't meant to be some, like, huge overarching, you know, uh, story. This is just a pulpy action-adventure type read, and I think it accomplished what it was going for very well, so this was something I enjoyed. Uh, if you're interested in getting into the kind of thing, I, I do think this is good. Like I said, the originals are supposed to be better, but I wanted to start here, so um, that's kind of where I went. But I plan to, to read the rest of these. I uh, probably use them as just short palate cleansers along with some other stuff. I have some Fritz Lieber books that I want to get to as well that are kind of the old school sword and sorcery. So it's just an area I'm not well read in and I'm interested to become more well read in uh, because I really, I, I like reading newer stuff too, but I just love going back and getting some older classic stuff and just mixing it up. So it's always a fun time. Those are my thoughts though. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Check the link in the description if you want to talk this book any books or all kinds of things. Like I said, we have a couple of experts uh, on the sword and sorcery genre, Conan and other stuff like that in our Discord as well. Uh, if you've got more, uh, want to talk more about that than I can talk about since I'm not super well read, but it's a great community and we would love to have you. Of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.